So today's episode is about how there's only one. <laughs> yourself better than you know anybody else because mm -hmm. jazz and i have this belief that health is wealth and when we say health is wealth we mean like well like w-e-l-l -L dash t-h mm -hmm. right because what money really matters what if really matters exactly if you're not together then what is together mm -hmm. see what i'm saying and you know, as y'all know, Triangle Podcast is about relationships and building bonds and, and not just building bonds with yourself or the, the people that you know, but just everything building bonds with everything you come contact in with. with. Yeah. Because we automatically do that. Um, so when we saw this, and I know Jazz can really like explain this better, but when we saw this post about... It was basically about uh, a female explaining to her, one of her male friends, you know, I want to be better for this guy in this way, and I want to be his wifey, and I want to do this, that, and the third, and I just want to be all this and that to him. And we found it interesting because the moral to that post or the moral to the story was, you know, have yourself together first, and then what's for you will be for you, basically. Yes. Um, so, piggybacking off... Facts. Piggybacking off of that, um, as a as a woman, you know, we seem to have everything together when it comes to purchasing a house, when it comes to finances. You know, as a looking at a woman, you know, it looks like you know she she knows what she wants, she has it all together. But then we seem to lack that conscious decision making when it comes to putting ourselves or being in a relationship or wanting to be in a relationship we become very vulnerable we become accepting of anything we won't accept a lesser playing job than a man you know what i'm saying we won't accept a, a lesser education because a woman so why is it when it comes to relationships that we tend to accept less um and, and guys too you may not be 100 percent ready in yourself because you haven't um accomplished all your goals and things of that nature so which is on that note um <clears throat> I read Think Like a Lady, Act Like a Man a while ago. My bad. That's a lot. That's not. I was saying they wrote another I've book. Read, I've never read that book, actually. But that, that's Act a good like book a lady, to be Think written. like a man. Act like a lady, think like a man. I read that a few years back. Um, and one thing that I like that Steve Harvey noted was that men will not be ready in a relationship until they've actually reached those I guess those mental goals that they have until they see um, themselves in the mirror the way they picture themselves or have always pictured themselves. And a lot of times when we don't uh, know what we want or uh, and a lot of and I even think we do know what we want, but when we don't admit it or we feel like we've fallen short of it or we don't feel like we can obtain it or whatever happens on our journey. I think a lot of times that's when we lose sight of who we are. And I know, I believe personally um, what Steve Harvey said. And that even played a part to to my own relationships because like I had this, this mindset that like by the time I reached, I'm 26 now, mm -hmm. by the time I reached 26 that I would be in this relationship. Mm -hmm. I would have this flashy car, this this said house, and not because I was gonna be a celebrity or anything, but just like, I was like, yeah, I'm in college and I'm studying finance and accounting. And I don't know how what job I thought I was gonna have to have a brand new Benz, not <laughs> one, two, maybe a Range Rover, money in the bank to save, just traveling that. the world. I don't even know what job that I thought I was gonna go to every day that was just going to give me to that. yeah. that's like half a million dollars a year like easily it's possible it is possible but i get what you're saying <laughs> but but i wasn't planning for that <laughs> like i was just yeah i'm just gonna have these things you know and and i wouldn't necessarily say it out loud you know i'm not 
I'm not illogical, but mm -hmm. just, I mean, you can have that, but by 25 doing what though, specifically? Right. Like, what do you, what do you chant? And then, and again, that's knowing yourself because you got to understand like, Am I even, how am I capable am I of capable doing that really? based yeah. off of my current circumstances? Mm -hmm. If I have no legs, that's like saying I have no legs, but I'm going to win the marathon. How, like, what marathon are you, you might running? might will, but what but, are the steps you Yeah, like, like, like not piecing everything come on, together. you're going to be Lance yeah. Armstrong and what? How? <laughs> when? Next year? Come on, yeah. bro. Yeah. You know, or sis. But, I mean, ironically, you know, we also found out that, you know, girls actually do mature faster mm -hmm. than guys. Mm -hmm. And we found this out through the scientists at Newcastle University in the UK um, that had a disco that discovered that girls tend to optimize brain connections earlier than boys. Um, the researchers con the researchers concluded that this may explain why females generally generally mature faster in certain cognitive and emotional areas than males during childhood and adolescence. You did such a good job reading that. I appreciate that. Because I thought back yeah, to like mind? back in the day when we were in class and like you had to be the person that had to read out loud. Oh, I love Pick me first. Pick me. There was somebody pick in your me. class that was like, don't pick me. Don't pick me. <laughs> it was always that person. Don't pass the rock. You don't sweating. popcorn your way over here. The, the bullets <laughs> dropping down your, your eyebrows. But that goes back to this maturity thing. Mm. He was probably the one who didn't want to read, but because I'm a girl, I want to read. Which is crazy. I was one who didn't want to read, but I was probably, like, the best reader in the class. Ironic. That is ironic. But I just was like, man, I got time for <laughs> But like I said, that goes back to the maturity thing. Yeah, um, yeah. Girls mature better, uh, faster than guys, but like I said earlier, um, let, me, let, me just, let me just say this, though. People tend to constantly get themselves ready for another person and not get themselves ready for themselves. Mm. Like, we constantly make sure, okay, I need to do this because I need to make this person happy. I need to do this because I, I don't want to get this person. I need to do this because I want to impress my boss. I want to do this. You need to be doing this because you want to impress yourself. You need to be doing this because you want to love yourself. You need to be getting yourself together because you want to know yourself. So when you do get in a relationship, you know what you're not going to tolerate and what you are going to tolerate. Mm -hmm. You know what's a deal breaker and what's not a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. And you know, you just know how to move forward. Right. Now, I do believe everyone plays a role in a relationship like a man plays a role and a woman plays a role. But if you don't know yourself, how do you know what, you, what, do you, what you're even paying, playing? If you don't know yourself, then you can get a man that gonna tell you, oh, pay all the bills. And you ain't yeah. gonna know that you don't wanna pay all the bills because you ain't came to a consensus with yourself. Like, hey, I'm not getting a relationship that where I'm doing everything, or whatever, whatever, whatever the case may be. So you may be accepting of a lot more things that you shouldn't be accepting of because you don't know what you truly like and what you don't like and things like that. On that note, you brought something up. What? That I'm sure, I hope. I'm not the only one who thought about this. Do you believe that? In a role? Like, in those roles, how do you define those roles in society today? Uh, me, personally, I feel like what works for each individual person works for each individual person. You have those people who are more traditional. And yes, the man is supposed to bring home the bread and butter and pay for everything. And you're supposed to keep the house up and keep the kids up. Then you have people who like the 50-50. We both have great jobs. We're going to split this 50-50. Or he may have 60-40. He paid a mortgage and then you paid a little utility bills or whatever. Um, and then you have those people who uh, have the woman making more than the man and she's taking care of all the finances and it's okay with them and he's a stay-at-home dad or vice versa. You have a stay-at-home mom and the guy's making all the money. It just depends on what works I don't, I'm not a believer that there's one way to, to do things. Like, if I end up marrying a guy and I end up making more money, <clears throat> I feel like that's fine. I mean, it just makes sense. Like, why would he struggle with me working thousands of hours if I'm making more money than him and I can just take care of the larger things? Um, I don't know. It just depends on what works yeah. for whoever. I think that's a great outlook because, and even... I think, I think that's a really... And see, that's knowing yourself, right? Because... You're, you're, you're talking about being flexible, but you're, you're talking about it in the context of knowing how you want your love to actually be. And, mm -hmm. and you leave, you're leaving room for the fact of like, I'm more focused on the bond that I build, which again, Triangle Podcast, 
I'm more focused on the bond that I build than I am the monetary status mm -hmm. and what it looks like um, or projecting. Because like really those things are between you and your, your mm -hmm. partner. Unless you're going to go out loud and blast it all and over that's social where media, it starts to become a problem, right? Because then people because who's going to know? If I'm telling all my homegirls, yeah, I pay most of the bills. Right. It wasn't a problem before, mm -hmm, but now mm -hmm. that I'm speaking on it to everyone else, now, now I'm starting to question. Mm -hmm. Oh well, maybe I shouldn't be paying all, all the bills, bills. Yeah. because that's not how everyone else sees. Right. But if that's what's been working for me, now I'm bringing an outside problem into that's my right. house. And making it a Which problem. Which speaks to a larger insecurity that that probably needed to be addressed long before you even got in that relationship. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times that's how rifts happen too. But it, it goes back to knowing yourself. And then it also, in knowing yourself, right? Like you, I, I really believe in, in the law of attractions, uh, you know, based that like you are what you attract. Mm -hmm. So you... You, you're not going to end up with somebody that hurts you or or that that had that selfish or that, that questions themselves that are you know it's just indecisive about what they believe in love and love and all of those things if you yourself are not in the mind state to detect that exists in someone because and the way that you know that is is just your own experiences like I mean, going back to the to the R. Kelly thing, like I, I would I would argue that most men will not look at a young girl like 16, 13 and be like, oh, like that's a that's a very. Um, it's, it, it really I think it speaks to like that Sigmund Freud type, like you the, the, the psychological growth that you haven't had that maybe you missed a certain step. And I know we were and your looking environment. Exactly. Exactly. That's People exactly what I was around. gonna exactly. say. Parts of your childhood yeah. just being snatched away. Or may, and and it didn't even necessarily have to be your, just your childhood, but even in your teenage years, maybe you had too much responsibility before you actually got to spend time maturing mm -hmm. to become the man or woman you're supposed to be. And so if those steps are missed, what you be what you stay attracted to because of that pattern, I think can can exist as you get older and people are looking at you with the crazy eye but really it's just because of that misstep mm -hmm. like and we and i think we see that a lot maybe amongst celebrities especially because um i think a lot of times the, the pain and trauma that they had to go through uh or of trying to be successful and how long that sat in their mind versus just going to the playground or just having friends maybe their environment again their environment like there's some real harsh realities out there and they're not fun. Mm -hmm. and, and and have that snatched away so early. Now, when you finally reach success, you're maturing your success mindset because you put your thousand hours in your time yeah. in. But once you got it, you start doing all this crazy stuff because you're tr you were really trying to get it to have what you never had. Mm -hmm. And and I think a lot, I, th I just, I think that's very unspoken in, 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 in you know, and to think, it's also like a lot of people, he could have been one of those people who are, he's constantly being told what he is and he starts to believe it. Mm -hmm. Like, you're telling me who I, if, if you're constantly telling me I'm selfish, I'm selfish, I'm selfish, I'm selfish, then ultimately I'm going to end up being, being selfish. selfish. Yeah. And yeah. if you're telling me I'm a cheater, I'm a cheater, I'm a cheater, then ultimately I'm going to go be a cheater because exactly. that's what everyone keeps telling me and that's what I keep, so I might as well do it. And you're again, you're complying to what everyone else wants you to be, and satisfy. And in an ironic way, you're still satisfying every, what everyone else's thoughts and needs, mm -hmm. um, even if it's in a bad way. Instead of really diagnosing yourself and looking like, okay, what am I? What am I doing? How am I being selfish, and how That's do I stop? Yeah. How am I being a cheater, and how do I stop? Instead of acting on what you've been told that you are. Yeah. Yeah, and, and 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 you know, and you reminded me of what, what the point that I was making is that again, like, so you're attracting this thing because you're stuck in this pattern, this mm -hmm. environment, which environment is not necessarily just physical, like we talked about, but it's also that perspective lens you have, the way that you view the world, 
is the, the environment that exists in your mind. You could think you're in the jungle in your head mm -hmm. and you're just in a regular ass coffee shop. But you don't smell coffee beans. You smell trees and lion's no, breath and all, you know, like, and it, it is. It really is that. And and I think a lot of times we, we don't give our, we, I would, I think that it's healthy to, to, to give yourself a fighting chance by just being patient on mm -hmm. and, and understanding like yourself. And that goes into religious, you know, a lot of times they, you know, they say, uh, walk by, walk by faith, not by sight. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, all those different kind of things. And, and so again, going back to what, what you're attracting, you're attracting a stage that you have an escape. And in that, so you're going to, if like you said, somebody put that pressure on you of you niggas ain't shit. You believe that. You, you, maybe you have a parent that's just like, yo, you're just like your said mm -hmm. parent. And you 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 act just like this. And you may that may not be true, but in you their mind, that. right? Their mind, they're still stuck on that. So the slightest thing just triggers that response because mm -hmm. they haven't gotten over it. They're still stuck in that stage and taking the time to know yourself, appreciate yourself, understand what you want, understand how you're going to get it mm -hmm. is so healthy and necessary. And that's when you, like you said, that's when you attract, well, not only what you want, but what you need. Need. Because if you, if you fool, and me personally, now we may be saying, I can't speak for Mike, but... I'm still learning myself. Mm, and like mm. I said earlier, um, you're, learning your, you're learning yourself every day. So, mm -hmm. and people, ex if you're still learning yourself every day, how do you expect that you're going to know somebody completely yeah, yeah. In, in, a, in a couple months or a week span? Mm -hmm. And also, you're never really going to 100% know anybody. You yeah. only know what people show you and tell you. You don't know what runs in people's minds and their brains and things like that. And, because you don't know that, again, that's why you have to sit down with yourself and say, hey, self, this is what I like. Mm -hmm. Hey, self, this is what I don't like. Mm -hmm. Hey, self, this is what I want to tolerate. Hey, self, this is not what I'm going to tolerate. Mm -hmm. Purge your brain. Mm. Into, Purge, that's a good yeah, word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Purge your brain into that mindset. And like you said, some things... You, you keep it up here, but you may need to write it down. You may need to say it mm -hmm. just so you know for sure. Okay, Jasmine, let's write this down. I do not like lazy men. I do not like sunsets. I do not like showers at night, only in the morning. Like, whatever the case. Because, yeah. I mean, I'm just being funny or whatever. But I physically see that. I physically said it. And in my mind, I know it. So I'm not going to tolerate the things that I don't like. And, and I'm, I'm going to only tolerate the things that I do. And, and, and yeah, because you're getting into core, core values, core mm -hmm. beliefs. And we, like I, like I was telling you earlier, um, I know for a fact that up until the last year or two of my life, because I had this super stringent belief of this house call, wife, whatever, mm -hmm. I didn't even, I was compromising on my core values and, I, and not focusing on what my core values are so that I could get to what I wanted to mm -hmm. get to. And understanding that like everybody's core values may not be the same because everybody, and, and they may be the same later on in life, mm -hmm. but at this particular stage, that may not be the case. There's a guy that I like to listen to. Um, uh, was his name is Prince Donnell? I think I told yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And he was talking about uh, nice guys finishing last, and he was saying that that's not that's not a, that's no such thing as that. And the reason why is because the stage that a guy and this is what what leads me to believe sometimes about that maturity thing mm -hmm. that and why. It might not necessarily be 100% accurate because it feeds to environment affecting how we raise men in society as mm -hmm. well. And so he was talking about that a lot of times you have like in high school, you might have this super nice guy. 
and like he genuinely wants to get you flowers. He genuinely wants to pull out your chair, but he just doesn't have that, maybe that swag or he don't have those yeah, things yeah. of the guy that uh, during Child our immature years has all the swag. Right, blah, blah, blah. right, right, right. But, but that guy that has all those things doesn't have the nice guy mentality. He's not honorable. Mm -hmm. He's not respectable because, and then in that young age, it's funny, but those it's traits cute. don't carry on to getting the job and having that. They don't mm -hmm. usually carry. I mean, in our in our society now, you can be a YouTube star, so that could be your personality, and it, you're just entertaining. Mm -hmm. Like that, that there's that. But in terms of the grand scheme of things, everybody can't be an entertainer. Everybody can't make money or like. There's just not enough space yeah. for that to exist. Yeah. And, and so he was saying that, like, the reality is that sometimes, he said, King, sometimes you just got to wait. Like, you got to understand that th those girls right now, they're looking for the bad boy. They're looking for that. And right now, that doesn't mean you change, though. Right. That means you stay like that because those those that personality trait translates later. And so just like that guy who has all the swag, you you might need time to get that later on. He didn't say that specifically, but you might need that to have for later. And that guy who has all the swag might need more time to realize how to treat women. But that doesn't mean you compromise who you actually are. Who you come from? Maybe you come from a good family. That's not like that's not a bad thing. That's a good and that, thing. And that goes back to when I say girls, we're mature, but when it comes to our attraction to whatever you're attracted to, girls mm -hmm. or guys. That's when we become dumb. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. and, and, and not even necessarily dumb, but we block out what we want to. Yeah, yeah. So the nice guy, it ain't cool when you 18, 19, 20, 21. Even 20, whatever, how old am I? Would, 24, yeah, 25? Yeah. Even, it then, may not even be cool now, but you get to a point in your maturity where you're like, all right, you know, clearly this guy is not for me. This girl is not for me. You know, <clears throat> I need to really reevaluate. And assess like yeah, I need to give the nice guy a chance. Mm -hmm. And like you said, nice guys finish last. But as like I said, as females, like we we play along with that. Okay, I want the guy with all the girls. I want the guy mm -hmm. with all the swag. He just looks better. He's mm -hmm. doing this better, or whatever, whatever. But in that way, I feel like we can mature more, mm -hmm. even though we're already mature. But we can mature more in mm -hmm. those aspects when it comes to picking the relationship, which mm -hmm. we do ultimately get to that point where we're like. Let me sit back and Thomas over here get me got me flowers and I played Thomas to the left. Brady over here, these are some odd names. Thomas and Brady. And Brady. Did you? Never mind. We're not gonna get into that. <laughs> I don't know anybody named Thomas or Brady. Disclaimer. Brady over here treating me dirty, but that's gonna be the, the one that I take back. Ironically, that's so weird to me. That I don't know why we do that. Like there has to be some type of study on that. That is makes why, no sense. You know, I always think about like <laughs> why is it that when we hear no, we're more excited Intrigued. about yeah. going through and trying to say this is going to become a yes. Yeah. And as soon as it becomes a yes, we're not usually appreciative mm -hmm. of it, and we have to constantly remind ourselves as to why we, we it's like you get everything and then you have to remind yourself of when you didn't have it yeah just so you can uh, imagine this no again <laughs> so you can get to having the yes that is that is a mind you're absolutely right so, but i think it speaks to the fact that i think our natural human nature is not it's, it's more so to like live not to just be like constantly trying to chase and hunt mm -hmm. and go grab and i know our society feeds into that but i don't think the the overall our whole life is about that like the ceo of a company is like usually their calm demeanor you know they're not like yeah y'all so we gotta go get some more companies we gotta make sure and they're not like oh, yeah man i gotta get some more companies <laughs> i'm gonna get some more i gotta get more billions more trillion. they're not that's not that's not what's happening well, it's also because to be devil's advocate it's because they've reached they touched all those milestones to get to be in ceo that's, when yeah. they were here yeah. as secretary they probably were um saying oh i gotta have more i gotta have more so just to wrap things up um we just challenge you guys to 
really start focusing on yourself and realizing, you know, who you are, what you want to be, how you want to go about doing things, what your core values are. Mm -hmm. um, and don't, yo, look, just last tidbit, like, it's important to know how to date. That's one. Mm -hmm. You need to, do, don't, so like having a mindset that like, yo, I haven't dated anybody in like three years, two years, and then the first person you see is just, you just think it's just gonna work. That's a little bit far-fetched. Mm -hmm. um, not saying it can't, but think about, especially if you if you go into dating someone who has been dating, the things that they're more used to that space. And, they and again, for that to come full circle, you feel like you're wasting your time because you don't even know what you're wanting to put your time to because you don't even know who you are. Who you, are. Mm -hmm. you sh if if you know who you are, you're not gonna have to question whether or not a person is for you, if a relationship is for you, if anything is for you, because you know what you want. So as soon as somebody shows you that they're not what you want, you can be like yeah, you know what, I'm good on that. Next, if you truly know who you are. Who you are, yeah. And it's okay to say no. It's okay to say I'm not interested. It's okay to say I don't agree. And uh, and so yeah, so dating, right? And then two, just and the reason why that dating I think point matters. Like I found that as a man, because of taking being on my own too. Like and it's no like it's awesome to have support. Right, and you want to have that healthy balance. You need a support. So if you, let's say you graduate college and you can go back home and live with your family and do that, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a great thing. But also offsetting that and being able to take, my aunt, my aunt said to me once, she said, if you want to be in a relationship, right, you need to start preparing your life on a daily basis of what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Even setting the table for two, even though you're not both eating, so that you get used to washing the dishes mm -hmm. for two people. So when you, when you get into a space where you meet somebody you're interested in, you're not, you're not going into it with the, with maybe with the, the uh, just the nature of being single, right? Because if you go into something single, with a single mindset, you're going to end up. It's not gonna prevail. And you're gonna still You're gonna treat it like you're <laughs> single, yeah, yeah. So anyway, we challenge you all mm -hmm. to do what Jazz is about to say right now, because I don't know what, what she said. <laughs> we just challenge you all to really sit down and listen to everything that we said today and get to know your, date yourself. Date yourself. Date yourself. Date yourself. And especially if you've been one of those people who constantly been in a relationship mm -hmm. from high school to now like you use people as a crutch and you really have not got to zone in on who you are and what you really like because you're constantly satisfied and that's a whole nother topic that's satisfying other people but topic. you're constantly thinking for two people and not one yeah. i guess i can say and so i think it's very important that you that that you all that's why you have to take that time for yourself and learn how to say no and yes Yes and no are they're equally yoked, mm -hmm. and 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 so to understand that hey like this ain't it that ain't it that's my favorite look if you know me you know <laughs> that's my favorite that saying ain't that ain't it that ain't the one. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, you know, just like we said, write write down what you like, write down what you don't like. Start learning yourself and getting mm -hmm. to know yourself. Mm -hmm. That is what we challenge you to do this week. And just have a beautiful, blessed week. You know, thank you for tuning in to the Triangle Podcast. Follow us on all social media platforms at the Triangle Podcast.com is coming soon, but not right now. <laughs> so, right now, at Twitter, the Triangle Podcast. Instagram, TikTok. Saw that. Follow us Follow on us at the If you would like to see more of us, Please click the link in our bio or visit our YouTube channel.